Let me start with your time back as trade minister in the early 2000s when the Bush administration actually uh, imposed U.S. steel tariffs. You had to fight that. We are now expecting any time now President Trump to make another decision on that. Is Brazil as willing uh, to fight on this issue as it was back during the Bush administration? I think there are good reasons to say that Brazil doesn't deserve it because we are not as important exporters to the U.S. And our exports are semi-finished uh, still, which contributes to the competitiveness of the U.S. steel industry. So I hope this doesn't happen. In this environment with President Trump's White House, we are continuing to see trade tensions boil up. Uh, we were talking to the Mexican ambassador before uh, NAFTA negotiations continue to develop. Um, we know that Brazil and the U.S. have fought over trade as well in everything from cotton to beef to ethanol. What are the key challenges in the bilateral relationship here? Uh, again, I think uh Overall, there would be no reasons to impose higher tariffs or restrictions for Brazil because for the last decade we have run the deficit with the United States, not a surplus. So I think uh, uh, that, and I hope again, there will be no reasons for such a step. Is a final bilateral trade deal, a free trade deal in the cards, is that the ultimate goal? No, but we are negotiating many measures in the area of uh, trade, like harmonization of our regulatory, of our rules, trade facilitation. And I think we can expect an increase in trade and in Brazilian imports because we went through a recession. We are going out of the recession and, of course, we'll import more. There's an important trial next week in Brazil. Uh, Brazil's former president and favorite in the polls right now for the upcoming presidential elections, Lula da Silva, uh, facing appealing a guilty corruption ruling. Are you expecting the former president to run? I think this is a matter for the justice to decide. Justice has been very active in fighting uh, corruption. And I think there have been many trials and uh, that's not something we should uh, bring to a political level. Corruption scandals, though, have ensnared many politicians in Brazil. How f concerned are you that this will affect uh, foreign investment sentiment towards Brazil? I think if this affects, it should be positive because Brazil has been going through a cleanup Never in our history we have undertaken such an anti-corruption campaign. There are many business leaders, political leaders in jail. And of course, the fact that the corruption has been condemned so strongly is positive for any investor. Are you, how close an eye are you also keeping on Venezuela? Because we know that there has been an exodus of Venezuelans towards northern Brazil. Uh, how... How difficult is this issue for Brazil right now? This is a matter of great concern. First of all, uh, with respect to the Venezuelan people who are suffering poverty, in some cases human rights violation. And uh, we are affected indirectly because of the number of immigrants from Venezuela has increased. In one city, the northern part of Brazil, at the frontier of Venezuela, it's a small city. Right. There are already more than 40,000 people from Venezuela. And of course, this is a small city which cannot afford to provide the appropriate support for these migrants.